it's Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions talking about the vignette snapshot and zone controller and the topic today is priority override which is one of the functions you can give to a playback on vignette so that it can take control away from the theatrical console. In the default configuration a vignette playback being RS45 architectural gateway like this guy or one of the PLE guys, the playback typically outputs at an SACN priority of 90, which is lower than the default. The numbers go between 1 and 200, where 200 is most important. Most lighting consoles and Pathport gateways output onto the network at a priority of 100. So a system of vignette that is output at a priority of 90 will yield to a lighting console. So here I have uh, a little LED tape that can show you. I got some zones control here and I have some uh, presets, snapshots that I've already pre-recorded. So you can see that they're on in both uh, the North station and the South station and I can cross fade to a different preset. But if a lighting console like this comes online by plugging it into the system, uh, what actually happens is it yields control to the, uh, the, the Cognito in this case, and then you can run different looks live on your lighting console. So I built one here that is a bit of a chase, so we can see whenever you see the lights chasing like this, we know the Cognito's in control, and when you take it away by unplugging it, it's going to crossfade back to the vignette snapshot system. So uh, that is shown by uh, looking in Pathscape, looking at the gateway, the vignette architectural gateway in this case. Uh, its first playback I have assigned as playback number one. So that's what we're uniquely identifying it. And its normal output priority is set to 90. Now there's another attribute, another priority called the override output priority, which is at 110. So to get it using this higher priority, which is above 100, which is where the DMX port comes in at priority 100, uh, we need to have a button that switches between normal output priority and override output priority. So I'm gonna choose this button over here. Uh, I'm gonna go to the vignette station number two um, and let's just identify that and we can actually see, yes, this is the one we're talking about. I will unidentify that now and I will look at the first button, which is currently set up as its function to be a snapshot on playback one and it's playing, uh, uh, snapshot number one. So if I do this, you can see it mirrors the other guy. What I want to do now is change this to more functions. And out of all of these, I am going to choose priority override on playback number one. So let's send that transaction off. And now you'll see this button is green. Green meaning we are in the normal situation uh, where the priority of the vignette system is going on to the network at 100. Therefore my lights, sorry, is going on to the network at 90. So my lights are doing what it does. If I plug in a lighting console, it comes in because it's configured at priority 100. Um, and if I boosted to output priority of 110, then this system will work. So if there's an emergency situation where the stage manager needs to bring up white light, they could bring up the white light fader, but hang on a second, the lighting console is still winning because we are in the normal situation. So in that case, you could hit this button and it would go to red. And now the vignette system has become more important than the lighting console. So then now you have live control at any station on what you want to do, be it be presets or zones or whatever it is. So here I've gone back into a, uh, a static snapshot and now break is over, emergency is over, whatever it is. We can relinquish control back to the lighting console just by pressing this button and immediately now you see that the lighting console has control over the system again. So that is normal versus override output priority in your vignette snapshot and zone controller.
I am Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions. Please join me again.